from the internet police. <laughs> guys how's it going here king h here yeah so cheers another video on um tier two boss fight which i'm gonna do without a um stunner so anyway check out my heroes which i'm using for the boss fight uh droid plays a big part with uh five five zerk you've seen uh pumpkin zerk uh we got succubus here now four or five berserk now with succubus she actually didn't have berserk when i was able to uh beat the boss without using a stun hero so before Viper Zerk doesn't really play too much of a part it just sort of increases the damage more yeah but she's an awesome hero and she sure helps with the boss in reducing the damage done uh who else we've we got we've got cupid which you've seen three or five revitalize i'm gonna be leveling up cupid to seven star later on today and uh the beast of the more a land score five or five revitalized. Now I actually even tried tanking without land score, so Paladin might work. I'm sure you could get it done with um, Droid as well. I just haven't tried since my guild sort of kills the boss a bit too quick, so therefore I haven't uh, had the chance to take a part. But take note of uh, Pumpkin Zook here, and he's on seven or nine uh, celebrate. But I've been able to do this since five or nine celebrate, so the celebrate levels not going to play too much of a part. So Thank God for that. Now, I've also been reading on the uh, Taiwan forum, well, it's actually been posted on the um, IGG forum on the US server, is that they're looking at fixing, well, apparently uh, Pumpkin Duke's skill is a glitch, and they're going to fix it, so therefore it can't stack. So if Pumpkin Duke's skill can't stack, then I can tell you this, uh, boss battles are going to change big time, because without a skill being able to stack, uh, let's just say I will not be able to do what I'm doing here. I will have to use Stunner and a couple of Heavy Blow guys. Otherwise, I'm just going to be annihilated. And if you're wondering why I'm not doing the boss just yet, is I'm going to start on 27 minutes because just to give a couple of other members a, uh, a chance to uh, fight it out on the top 10 leaderboard. And anyway, here we go without no stun hero. So using no, no champ, no Thunder God to stun, no Heavy Blow, uh, drop AC... And followed by the rest once uh, Droid starts taking, ag oh, so once the uh, boss starts taking aggro out on AC. And from here on out, it's just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, with no problem at all. It's quite easy. As you can see, like Pumpkin Duke is stacking. I'm not too sure if you can see it in the video, but he is uh, stacking a hell of a lot here, which <laughs> I love seeing him stack with Cupid and whatnot. The buff is just huge. And every time. Um, the boss hits uh, AC, well, he's just got his reflector shield up, so it just reflects all the damage back. So I'm actually, I can actually do more damage without using a stun hero than if I did. I think about 5 mil extra damage without using a stun hero. I'll actually have to test it out. I'll actually um, stop using, I'll actually do another, another video and i actually use champ to stun with and we'll see what the difference is damage wise. Uh, so anyone who doesn't have a champ or... Who wants to increase the damage? I highly recommend trying this. It's uh, it's quite cool. It's a different way to do boss battles. You know, I get sick of people saying, "Oh, how do I stun the boss?" Well, there are other ways around it. You know, high level uh, tank along with a pumpkin zook and a joy that can heal your um, team fast enough. You can um, easily solo uh, the boss without a uh, stun hero. And if you take notice too, uh, AC's. Um, Reflective shield is usually up majority of the time if it wasn't for that cooldown. And the house of my heroes hardly ever drops, so Droid is definitely, definitely getting those heals in at enough quick enough time. So, yeah, props to my guild after hours. They are awesome guild with an awesome bunch of members. And if you guys are wondering why I have my heroes out by the um, the guild and not sight inside my base, that's because I always feel like it's better to have your heroes outside of your base, just in case one of them dies, and it's easy to click on that hero to revive it, so it can actually help with a few seconds here and there, not that I recommend reviving heroes during boss battles, uh, unless you have to, like if you're fighting the tier 3 boss, but anyway guys, cheers for watching, and until the next time, catch you later.